मन हीरो के मन के रास्ते मन हीरो के मन के रास्ते कोई ना खड़ा अब उसके वास्ते कोई ना खड़ा अब उसके वास्ते के वास्ते supposed to carefully jump what does it matter how i jump who will give me marks for jumping right asha asha wait up uh, what are you doing here wait there asha do your parents know you're here asha what are you doing here sit sit sit, sit down here 
थैंक यू सुगत आंटी Do you know you'd be a mass of broken bones down there? Now you are ashamed. Look at me. Look at me. Do you know that your parents would be in such dire circumstances? The whole society is going to blame them, and they're going to blame themselves for their entire life, Asha. No one cares for me, Suganda Aunty. All they care is my marks, whether I pass or not. Whether I do well in studies or not, no one cares. How did you come to that conclusion? Have you taken a survey of their feelings? No one cares, and they won't be in my favor once they know my marks. So you've got less marks. In which grade are you in? Ninth. I was supposed to go in tenth. Ah, so you failed in the ninth grade exam. So my mom and dad will be livid, ashamed of me. All my friends will make fun of me. My teachers will insult. Not openly, but I understand it's a difficult situation. I agree, but you will never understand, Auntie. You, I've heard. I have always been a topper. You earn so well. You are a boss in your office. You have your own house. What will you know about children? You don't have any. You seem to know a lot about me, Asha. People talk. You young teenagers, you're the rudest lot of this time. Just don't think beyond yourself. You did not study well. You did not get good marks, so what? Try again. For a while, people will be unhappy. For a while, they'll scorn at you, ridicule you, but the storm will pass. Sorry, auntie, but you are a woman. What do you know about my problems? What would you do in my situation? As you said, I was indeed a topper. So true, I would not know of your situation, but. What I do know is that we always have an option to live. What can I do? My folks won't love me anymore once the truth is out. They have my younger brother to fulfill all their wishes. Even I had my siblings, and even I felt that my folks, as you put it, loved them more and not me. But that is so not true. When I look back, you are an equally special kid for them. You don't know my folks. They won't care. So what do you think? Your parents will see your dead body, sigh, and ask the watchman to just dispose it in the dustbin and go back to their day? Is that what you think will happen? You young people think everything is an adventure. You give up so fast on everything. So something did not work out and went wrong. There are constructive action steps that one can take. You are a woman. You won't understand. You think women do not have problems? Yes, they might, and they would be the first ones to jump, like I would. Uh, wait a minute. What do you mean? See, auntie, I may sound rude, but if you had a husband who cheated on you and you had a bad marriage, then even you would do the same thing. You will not take the constructive action steps that you suggest. How do you know of this? Gossip travels. When people fight, aunties love to hear and they love to tell. Ah, um, so my gossip magazine. You think I should consider jumping from here instead of kicking my veil in husband's house? 
it is an easy and glamorous way to end it dramatically besides your husband will be hounded by police you can harass him as much as he did after your exit of course ah uh, so you too wanted to glamorously teach your parents a lesson for loving you less and then can have police fire them too no the more i think about it the less i like it i think my angel sent you to sort of open my eyes i will face the anger they'll hate me for a while when you can win them over by working hard and talking about your interests hmm? but aunty what we do to endure at this hour well i have come here to spend some time alone thinking of the constructive action plan that i could take i like you teenagers who think of squandering every bit of resources you have time in love and life uh, but aunty you will not tell anybody please Only if you promise me, Ashok, that you're not going to come to this terrace again, and I'm going to speak to the secretary and ensure that this is locked at all times. Only if you promise to not give another teleseries episode to my bored aunties. <laughs> I promise that these teleseries are going off air now, and I promise that. As of now, let's go. I think the time when your folks will be looking for you, right? Let's go, Ashok. And I don't trust you. I have to leave you at your door. आशा बाबा फिर चले गए तुम टेरिस पे पढ़ने कितनी बार कहा है कि तुम्हारी वजह से मेरी नौकरी खतरे में आ जाएगी <laughs> पढ़ो 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 ऐसे थोड़ी फर्स्ट रंग आया तुम्हारा <laughs> अब तो मिठाई खिला दो सुना है डिरामा में ट्राफी ले आयो <laughs> 